I'm back with another KS Craft project and also this is going to be for BB Craft as well. I'm going to be using some of their um, glitter foam cardstock that I got and I love it. Well, it's not cardstock. This is faux leather. So glitter faux leather. Okay. But anyway, let me show you what I have from KS Craft. So I have this adorable little heart globe. I am absolutely in love with this. I believe Nicole designed this. We also have these super cute little lollipops and um i'm thinking i'm i'm hoping i can with the faux leather i want to cut out um this little drippy part and um this little swirl right here and see how that turns out but we'll, we'll see um then also i have um this little ring shaker and this one is a shaker too by the way i forgot to mention you could do this as a shaker or shaker it's just up to you and then I have this galantine little um ring right here and this is also uh can be a shaker so I'm pretty excited about this one I'm going to try to do this diamond effect um with the um faux glitter leather so we'll see how that's going to turn out anyway let me go ahead and cut out the pieces and we'll go ahead and get started with the first one the first one I'm going to be working on is the heart globe because I just love it. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, so I cut my pieces out and first of all, I have my background here for love you. I have my foreground for love you. Um, over here, I use this right here to create my background. And so I did that twice because I wanted it kind of heavy duty. Okay. Actually, I cut out a lot of these twice except for the love you. Um, and the acetate, of course, I only did that one time, but here on this one. Okay. So because this faux leather is really heavy duty, I'm not sure, um, if it's always like that, but anyway, I ended up having to, I use this one cause I thought I was going to use this as my cover for my shaker. Right. But it didn't work because it wouldn't cut all the way through. So I just decided to use this as my underneath piece. Like I would use this one. Okay. Then I went ahead and I cut out the uh, foam three times. And of course I tape mine together in between the layers. So that works for me. Um, and then for my little heart cover, um, I decided to use um, my Valentine cardstock as well as um, this one. So this one I cut out three times. I did use a really um, heavy paper, probably about 120 pound cardstock. And then um, I cut this one out twice only on accident for this color. I had kind of messed it up, but I put it underneath so you can't see that. But anyway, um, and then of course I have my acetate. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest in a process video so you can see. Oh, and I wanted to mention that um, I had cut out, um, I had created a bunch of these Care Bears um, and put it in Adobe, okay? Um, I got this um, off the internet and created a PNG, a transparent PNG out of it. I duplicated it multiple times and then I accidentally cut out like a ton. My printer went crazy, um, like it wasn't printing. So then I tried it again and I tried again and I tried again. Anyway, it ended up printing all those later. So I went ahead and cut all of these out. So like I have a, a ton of these little care bears. Now this one is too big um, for this little heart and I found that out real quick. So um, this one is about two and three eighth inches, right? Just over a quarter, just under three eighth inches. And so that one was a little bit too big for this. So I went ahead and made another set. And again, it printed like multiple times. So I have like a bunch of these. Look at this. Okay, guys, that, that's a lot of little Care Bears. Okay. Of the same Care Bear. Just saying. Um, next time I will do multiple Care Bears, uh, different ones. So this one is two and one eighth and this one should fit. Please do. Do you still not fit in here with the Hila? Okay. You know what? I might just put them on the outside. That's probably what I'm going to do because I made them too big, but that's okay. I don't mind that at all because I can put the love you on the inside. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I might not use the background. Okay. Let me see how this looks real quick. Just four giggles. So this will be layered like this. And I might do the love you. 
Ooh, I kind of like that. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely going to do that. Sorry, I'm not going to use the little... Because this pink is so light anyway, and this black really stands out that I don't need to use the um, shadow word. So I really like that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do this in a process video, and I'll be right back. Okay, I wanted to mention something really quick. I went ahead and layered these. I don't know why it didn't record because I thought it was recording, but it just stopped all of a sudden by itself. But anyway, I want to let you know that this heart, okay, um, the smaller heart is too small for this, okay? So I'm going to try to, um, let me get this back out. I'm going to have to do this one in acetate, okay? Um, and then I'll be right back. So I will need to redo um, this piece as well. I just want to come in and give you that little tip so you know and it doesn't happen to you. Well, guys, I am super excited how this turned out. This is the Care Lot Care Bear, and I just love it. And I think in hindsight, I think I probably should have put the, um, and I'm sorry, this isn't fully dry yet, so I didn't really want to shake it too much because I didn't want it to get stuck to any glue that was still wet inside. Um, but anyway, I think in hindsight, I would have put the Love You on top. And the only reason why I would have done that is because this glitter faux leather is um, pretty chunky and the glitter is kind of getting stuck in there. Um, so it's not shaking as quickly or as fast as it should. So, um, yeah, next time I'll probably do that, but I still think it turned out adorable and I just love it. I cannot wait to make more of these. These are so freaking cute. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and work on the lollipop next. And I think I'm just going to cut these out and then I'll do a process video for these because I know this is a super easy thing. I don't think you really need a tutorial for it. So um, this is kind of just like one of those watching, you know, process video types. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. really super cute. This one is a strawberry lollipop. I used my um, BB Craft Faux Leather for the top part here. And again, like I said, this is difficult to cut out. Um, basically, you have to trim around the shape after you've kind of made that impression for it. So it's kind of a pain in the butt, but I do like the look. I plan on buying some more, but probably a little bit thinner. And then here I use the Michaels... Um, Halloween paper pad to do this one because my daughter loves goth so I thought I would add this to her card too as well and um, I thought this one was super fun I don't know I might put them all three I don't know I don't think they go together exactly so I'll probably use them for different things but it's always fun to have some cute little embellishments around so anyway let's go ahead and work on our next one and this is the Galentine Shaker. Um, and I just love this diamond ring. It is so cute. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started now. Okay, I decided not to make this a shaker. Um, what I was going to do was actually make the inside of the ring part a shaker. But unfortunately, I don't have a circular die that measures this size. It's too big so or too small. So then all the sequins would fall out. Um, you can do it for this section right here. You would just have to use this one and layer it three times with your foam or one time with the KS Craft Foam 
and then of course one time for your um, cover okay so what I decided to do was just kind of have it a regular embellishment um, I felt that you know having this portion of it the shaker it was just too um, tiny you know I don't have super super tiny sequins so that's just me um, I know there's a lot of people that have like a lot of seed beads and and stuff like that but mine aren't even tiny enough to fit in that little section but um, I went ahead and cut this out twice just because I wanted it, um, you know, stronger uh, for the base. I also cut this one out one time in the gold glitter cardstock from Michaels. I also cut out Galantine twice just because this um, metallic um, paper that I got, it's like an ombre metallic paper that I got uh, from Amazon, is very thin. Okay, so I went ahead and cut this out on 120 pound cardstock and then I'm going to layer these on top of here and then of course I did the base one time now I want to tell you that I did do a little trick I cut this out a third time and all I did was cut out the diamond and this is for my faux fabric right because I want to have that diamond glittery look and um, so I think that turned out perfect so let's go ahead and put this together guys I just love how these embellishments turn out don't forget to pick up these dies at KS craft lover store they also have a Amazon shop and I do believe that some of those are in the Amazon shop already I will have all those links down below for you I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day I hope you like these embellishments and the tutorial so anyway I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day and I will see you all next time with another KS craft project and don't forget if you want to pick up the um, faux leather, I will have that down below as well. That is from bbcraft.com. And um, anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day, guys. Bye. Oh, and don't forget, I have a discount code SALTY5 for bbcraft.com. Okay, SALTY5. Thanks, guys. Bye.